Welcome to Project Pro Code Recipes. In this video, we are going to learn on how to uh, check your F1 score for classification type problems. Now, this is my code snippet. I have copied this code and I have pasted that in my Jupyter Notebook. I'll explain to you the code over here as well as run this for you. So, first of all, uh, uh, what is F1 score and where is it used? So, all those F1 scores, recall, precision, accuracy, these all are used for classification type problems. You don't, you, you shouldn't use them for regression problems as they are not a, a good method to judge your regression, uh, regression models. Now, uh, so F1 score is basically harmonic mean of precision and recall. Uh, the formula goes by 2 into precision into recall divided by precision plus recall. So basically it is an uh, weighted mean of precision and recall. In IAP in terms you can understand that, that it as the base as the weighted mean of uh, precision and recall. So what is precision? So precision is basically true positive divided by true positive plus false positive and recall is true positive divided by true positive plus false negative. Now uh, so and, uh, and one more term over here is cross validation. Uh, so what is cross validation? Uh, basically you must be familiar with train test split. Uh, so what it is cross validation does the same thing as train, train test split but it does it over iteration. So basically whereas train test split just splits your data set into training set and testing sets or just cross validation splits your data set into smaller into smaller parts for example four to uh, suppose you pass cross validation parameter as four you will split your data set into four parts it will use three for training one for testing and it will do it for each uh, iteration for each data set basically it will pick up all the possible three data sets and uh, do the same now uh, the detailed video for cross validation is also available on the, cha in the channel uh, you can check that out uh, I, uh, I have also put a detailed video of recall as well as uh, precision uh, and how to use recall precision using cross validation in python now so this was all about explanation and let's just started with the codes so i have defined a function over here now these are two print statements in order to ignore unnecessary warnings i have imported warnings now from scale and dot model selection import uh, cross validation score and from tree import decision tree classifier as i already told you f1, f1 scores and all those scores are generally used for from classification problems uh, after you after you make a confusion matrix so confusion matrix is basically a matrix having uh, the number it is uh, for in case of two class classification problem it is about uh, how uh, it is a matrix that shows for all the true cases, how many uh, predictions of a model were actually true and uh, how, how many predictions of a model were actually true and how many of them are actually uh, actually the true, uh, actually true predictions and the same goes for negative. Now after that, uh, from data sets, import make classification. So sklearn already comes with preloaded data set. I could have used iris over here, iris data set. But over here I am making my own classification data set. So make underscore classification. Now make underscore classification will give me the x that is the feature matrix and the y that is the output matrix. Now n samples. So I want 10,000 samples. n features is equal to 3. I want 3 features. n informative that is all the features should be linearly independent or have should have no correlation between each other. If I pass n redundant is equal to 1 that is it will generate one more feature in which uh, which is a linear combination of any of these three uh, informative data set, informative uh, features. Now n class is equal to 2. That is I want a 2 class classification problem. So random set is equal to 42. Now D3. I am initializing my decision tree classifier. After that, I want uh, to print my cross validation score. Uh, in cross validation score function, you need to pass your model that you want to use the feature matrix, the output matrix, the scoring methodology. Uh, so you can pass accuracy, neg mean squared error, etc. Now cross validation is equal to seven. That is I want to perform seven cross validations. Uh, now after that, I, I, I calculate the mean of my seven uh, cross validation. So I told you it is going to perform uh, the cross validations for each iteration. So basically there will be seven iterations as 
it will split uh, it will use one for te uh, testing and six for training so 7c6 uh, is equal to 7 that is going to perform 7 iteration so it is going to give me 7 scores and I will calculate the mean and the standard deviation of the score I will print the mean score and standard deviation uh, now let me run this for you so you can see uh, these are the scores of my cross validations this is the mean of my cross validation and this is the standard deviation so this was all about course in this video for more industry relevant project you can visit our website for more code recipes like this you can visit our website as well as our youtube channel and in case you want customize your own customized recipe that you cannot find on our website you can use this click here function and submit your request it will be made available to you uh, and the uh, url for the code of this video is available in the link below thank you